Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we would be seeing on how we create multi-agent using Langraph. And what does this multi-agent does is like we, so we give an uh, resume as an input and the first agent will check whether the resume suits the skills we need uh, or not. For suppose if I pass the data engineering, it will check whether the, there is a skill set of cloud, big data, Spark, Hadoop, Python, SQL and all this or not. If I give data science resume, it checks for ML, deep learning and all those. So accordingly, the first agent will just decide whether it fits or not and gives the feedback to the next agent and the next agent is HR agent. It will just check the HR skills and the third one will just summarize and select or reject the resume. So let's see how we can do it. So I've just imported the API keys. So I have just imported the methods or the classes I need and uh, I'm creating a class called state. You know, in Langraph, we create a class and we declare the variables in it. And the purpose of these variables is we can access at any point in time inside the graph or inside the node or wherever we want. So I have my first tool. This tool takes two arguments, resume and the skill. And here I've just given the prompt to validate. I just give some example. This belongs to data engineering skill set. This maps to data science skill set. And I'm passing the resume and the skill and it will i'm using the i'm creating a chain with the llm the prompt and the llm and i'm just in passing these two information and invoking so it will validate whether it suits the skill set passed like so it will validate whether the particular resume suits the skill set passed or not that's it and the check is a second tool this is similar to the above tool but the purpose of this tool is to check whether the resume has the hr skills or not so I don't want to have any skills. It just validates the HR skills. The overall method is the same as the first one, but just the prompt and everything varies. That's it. And the third one is resume summarize, where it will just take the inputs from the above two agents and then summarizes the output and decides whether to select or reject it. That's it. If you see, provide one of the following decisions: human review needed, rejected, or selected. That's it. So I just created the prompt and I'm just reading the messages from the state. You know, if, if I go up, we have created a class and we have the messages here. So this can be accessed anywhere. So, so I'm just reading those messages from the state and appending and just passing that messages uh, to this LLM the prompt and the LLM created the chain and I'm just invoking it. So now it, it returns whether it has to select need human review or it, it has to be rejected the resume. So I'm using chart open AI here. That's it. And in Langchain, we have a method called create react agent using which we can directly create the agent. If you see, we have to pass the LLM and tools it has to use. So this LLM will bind with these tools. So here, this is a prompt which will be useful to guide this particular agent. So you can just filter the resumes based on the skill set. That's what I have sent and make I'm just passing to this uh, method. So here I'm calling a make system prompt. So this particular string gets appended with this one. That's it. Mm, and this particular agent is for screen the resume. And after th this is the agent we have created using the create react agent method from Langraph. That's it. And now we can create a node out of it by using this particular agent. So I am creating a node. So to create, I'm just calling a method here inside which I'm using that particular agent, which we have created. So I'm just invoking with the state, you know, that inside the state, we'll have access to all the variables declared inside the class and all. So I'm just returning those. So the output of this particular agent is again appended to the messages because the next agent should use this, right? So again, I'm creating another agent using the create react agent, passing the LLM and the tool and the prompt uh, on how this particular agent should work. That's it. So I'm creating a node here and inside this node, we am using this particular uh, agent invoking based on the state and just appending this particular information again to the states of messages. So the messages gets appended at every point in time after each uh, agent execution. Now I'm using the final summarize agent in the, I'm again using the same method to create the agent, the LLM, the tool resume summarize, which I've showed you above and then the prompt that's it so i'm creating the node similar to above and just appending that particular message again like we don't need any method to decide which node to go next because it's just a sequence of agents here so i'm just creating the nodes with the methods i've created so this particular so i'm just created a first node resume screener it uses this particular method called resume um, screener node similarly i've created one for hr node and one for resume summarize node that's it so i've just created these three nodes that's it and i'm adding the uh, sequence here so first start go to this node 
and after this one go to hr node after hr node go to resume summary after resume only just go to the end so i'm just compiling the graph i am not giving any memory and all so this is how the, the graph behaves that's it so i've just created a resume here in a plain text format the hr specific professional skills the project experience and all now i'm just triggering the graph graph is nothing but the compiled one which we have done here see the graph equal to workflow dot compile that's it so now i'm just streaming that graph and passing the resume please validate if the resume suits the data engineering skill set so it, it uh, so our tool will check if this resume suits the data engineering skill set or not that's it so i'm just printing it first came to the resume screener node and it it has it might have given the output if you go scroll right and see the last message then we can find it out and similarly he, the next hr node got triggered and this particular agent also might have written some output and those two outputs is read by this resume summarize node and it returns some output so if you see we have selected the resume so here i am just uh, re checking if we are in the resume summarize node if so just read the last message and the content so it has decided to select it because this is the data engineering resume only that's it thank you so much for watching